Hey, what's up, y'all? Good morning. Hey, check this out. Man, I was learning this morning in my devotional. Like, the enemy really wants us average. Like, he really wants us complacent. The enemy does not want us, like, really out here thriving. And so don't get comfortable. That's what I learned this morning. Like, don't get comfortable. Celebrate what you've accomplished, but always be asking yourself, God, is it more? And I promise you, man, that's what's gotten me to where I am in my life. And I already feel like I do the most. But I also wake up early in the morning and seek the face of the most high which gave me the strength to keep operating at a high level, y'all. Don't settle, don't be average, don't get complacent, don't get comfortable, but let's get it. We came a long way, that's what the song say. And I could do all things, I could do all things, yeah, I could do all things, yeah. yeah. Today, uh, it's a full day. I got a few, let me pull it up here. I've got my workout in, had my time with God. I already had a conference call. Um, I got more conference calls this afternoon. Uh, I got a virtual speaking engagement. I got to do a few commercial drops. Uh, I got a photo shoot, excited about the photo shoot. Shout out to my guy, Ramsey, uh, Brandon Ramsey. I got a photo shoot this afternoon at the E-Complex. Virtual gig, I, it's a lot, it's a full day. And some people will say, yo, Jay, you, it seems like you always busy. No, 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 I'm always productive. Mm, that's the difference there, right? I don't wanna just be busy, I wanna be productive. Like I wanna utilize the 24 hours in the day that God gives me. So if I go to sleep at nine o'clock, 10 o'clock the latest, I'm back up awake at four o'clock, that's like six hours of rest, right? I got 18 more hours of the day. If I get my family eight hours of the day, then that leaves me with 10 hours of productivity. And you're gonna see a bit of that today. Let's get it. Right, so tell me about um, tell me about this gig we had. So you are going to be speaking to some third and through fifth graders with Pierce Elementary School, Ridgecrest, California. Their biggest focus is bullying. They're just having a big problem with bullying, and so they want you to just really focus on bullying. She really loved your video mm -hmm. and how you talk about what is bullying like. Do you understand how right, this right, looks? We're, we're, still still yeah, yeah. we're still doing that. That's what she likes. We're still yeah. doing that. Um, like, why are y'all still doing this? Really focus on that and being community minded, which you can go back to. We are the Panthers, if you like. Maybe Panthers are respectful, bullying. Panthers are safe, mm -hmm. Panthers are family. Yeah, so they really respond to hypothetical. So, okay, what if y'all was bullying Miss uh, La Miss Cole, the librarian? How do you think she would feel? So I just gave you two teachers that are in their community that you can use hypothetically if you want. Yeah. That's why I say you're a fearfully and wonderfully made. That's why I say that you're amazing. That's why I say that you're powerful. Now, do you always feel that way? No. Right, I get it. We, we, don't, we don't always feel powerful. We don't always feel amazing. But one thing you're gonna learn that I've had my friends learn is that we have to get to a point where we move past our feelings. It's not about your feelings. It's about your belief system. That's why I told you at the beginning of my presentation that I need you all to believe in how powerful you are. Hey, what's up, y'all? Jeremy here. Check this out. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Now, here's the reality. I wish I could come to your school and speak. Typically, after schools watch my video, they reach out to me and invite me, and I get to go to schools all across America. But here's the truth. I can't reach them all, but our curriculum can. That's right. Me and my team created our Next Level Students SEL Character Curriculum and it aligns perfectly with PBIS. The lessons are clear. The content connection is amazing. You will love it. So if you're interested in having impact in your school, helping your students go to the next level, visit our website, nextlevelstudents.org. And I'm looking forward to helping your students in your school go to the next level. Perfect 
Well, you need to go because Ebony's stressing it out. Have an advisory board together filled with counselors, okay. social workers. If you could find you someone in the juvenile justice space, like okay. that would be key. I, I know somebody. Because now okay. you're getting it from different vantage points. An educator is going to share one thing, an administrator is going to share something with you, but then you have a social worker or a counselor, and then you got those that's in the juvenile justice system even higher because the fighting in schools, bullying, you know what I'm saying, the gangs, like it, it's running rampant, the shootings, oh, yes, like yes. it's so much. So if you have almost like an advisory board, because what I don't want, I don't want you to put all this energy into it because I know God's speaking through you, but then like the word says, there's safety in a multitude of counsel. Yes. So the more Thank people you. you have guiding you and giving you that insight that's boots on the ground every single day, that just makes yeah. it that much more foolproof. I'm excited for that you. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. I thank you so much for that insight. Absolutely. And I mean, you just, you know, God has just put you like a shepherd over us yeah. as we go on our journey, you know? I appreciate and if it. if you had not established what you established, so many of us would not have had this outlet. Hmm. And I thank you so much for that. So far, um, had to film a drop, had to film some other ads. Um, few conference calls, couple meetings, and I had a virtual speaking engagement. Uh, this time I actually spoke for elementary school. I do it all, y'all. Elementary, middle, high school, and universities. And of course I get to do corporate and I get to preach. I do a lot. And so today I had a virtual gig and then right after that I went to another meeting. Um, then it's time for a photo shoot. So we about to head across town, about to head over to the E-Complex and um, quick little photo shoot with my guy Ramsey and um, get ready to, you know what I'm saying? Get ready for that next level. Yeah. What's up, family? How you feeling, man? You good? Man, great, man. Check this out. A lot of people have been recently giving me my flowers and I appreciate it. They're like, yo, Jay, you're doing great work. I love what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You, you man, look at you, you, you here. And I'm like, where, where? So to everybody out there that might feel like, yo, you've arrived, you ain't arriving, you still in the vehicle. We still in transit. Like I told y'all this morning, you know what I'm saying? My devotional, the enemy wants us to be complacent. He wants us to celebrate last year's victories. You know what I'm saying? You know how you'll, you'll go into the gym, Christian, they'll have like the sports teams, they'll have the banners from previous years. That's cool to remind yourself of what you've accomplished in the past, but like, yo, it's a whole nother championship that you gotta win this year. So, I mean, I'm trying to apply pressure and I ain't really applying pressure to nobody else. I'm applying pressure to myself. I'm trying to wake up every single morning, man, and the enemy is afraid that, man, Jeremy gonna live in his full potential. Do I get tired? Yes, but that's why I'm hella disciplined and I'm locked in so I can be what God's called me to be. So even when I get back home tonight, I'm gonna put in some time with the family. I got some other calls I gotta make, some other business I gotta handle. And then I'm, I'm hosting a challenge tonight. I'm doing a training for about two hours while I'm showing over a hundred people how to be successful motivational speakers. And so, man, this is the life that I live and it's a life on purpose, y'all. Next level. It's good.